Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a front-loading washing machine. The washing machine was a request to go on a book. The size when crocheted in 8-ply wool, this one here, is 12 centimetres by 9 centimetres or 4 and 3 quarter inches by 3 and a half inches. And when crocheted in 4-ply crochet cotton, this one, the size is 9 centimetres by 7 centimetres or 3 and a half inches by 2 and 3 quarter inches. I'll be using 4-ply crochet cotton today. I've got white as my main colour and grey and black. I've got a darning needle to weave in the ends, a 1.5mm crochet hook, scissors and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. Now I'm starting on the body of the washing machine so using my white I work 20 chain. For row one I miss the first two chain and I work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch, so the third stitch from the hook and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. So that's row 1 done. Rows 2 to 18 are worked the same. We start with 2 chain and turn and we work 1 half double crochet into each stitch to the end.
Now that's row 2 done. And we just repeat row 2 until we finish row 18. So 2 chain and turn and then work one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. So I'll keep working the body of the machine and I'll be back when I get to the end of row 18. Now I've finished to the end of row 18. Next I work a neatening row right around the piece. So I start with one chain and I'm going to work a neatening row of single crochet. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. So for a single crochet you put your hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take your hook with the yarn through both loops. And then you just work a single crochet into each stitch around. Just find a suitable place to put your hook not too far from the edge. So that's what the neatening row looks like. Now I'm almost to the corner. Into the corner stitch I work one single crochet, one chain and then one single crochet into that same stitch. And then I work one single crochet into each stitch along the bottom and continue like that. Into the corner stitches I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and one single crochet into each stitch along the ed edges. So I'll continue working my neatening row and I'll be back when I get near the end. Now I'm back round to the start of the row so I work one chain and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. First slip stitch I put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook and fasten off. And that's the body of the washing machine done. I'll start on the door now. So I've got my grey and I make a magic loop. For a magic loop I put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and then take the long end over the short end. Put the yarn around the hook and bring the hook with the yarn through the loop and that's my magic loop. Then I work two chain. Into my circle I work 14 double crochet. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet you put the yarn around the hook, hook into the circle through the front and bring back a loop. 
Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through the remaining two loops. Now I need 13 more double crochet into my circle. Now I've worked my 14 double crochet into my circle. Next I pull my circle tight so I take hold of the tail and ease it in as tight as I can and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For row 2 I start with 2 chain and work 1 double crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then I work two double crochet into each stitch around my circle. And at the end of the row, I slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And I'll need to pull my circle in as tight as I can, a bit tighter. So I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll add the white to the door. For the white around the door, we join our cotton on any stitch on the door, but in the front loop only. So just in that front loop. And we work one chain, and then we work one half double crochet in the same stitch as the chain but only in the front loop. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. Then we work two half double crochet into the front loop only of the next stitch.
and then one half double crochet into the front loop only of the following stitch. And we repeat that right around the row. So two half double crochet into the front loop only of the next stitch. And then one half double crochet into the front loop only of the following stitch. And we'll repeat that right around. So two half double crochet into the front loop only of the next stitch and then one half double crochet into the front loop only of the following stitch. And then we join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For row two, we start with one chain and we work one single crochet into the back loop only of each stitch around. So just into this back loop here, a single crochet. A single crochet is called a double crochet using UK terms. So one single crochet into the back loop only of each stitch round our circle. And it leaves a little ridge just at the bottom of the row. So I'll continue working around this row and I'll be back when I get near the end. At the end of the row we slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. Next we're going to work a grey slip stitch row right around our piece. So just join in any stitch, only in the back loop though. And we work one slip stitch into each stitch right around into the back loop. So a slip stitch we put the hook 
into the stitch and bring the loop through and straight through the loop on our hook. So I'll continue working my slip stitch row and I'll be back when I get to the end. At the end of the row I slip stitch into that first stitch and then slip stitch in to my first slip stitch and fasten off. And that's the door finished. Now for this washing powder drawer, using my white, I start with five chain. I miss the first chain and I work one single crochet into each remaining chain. For row 2 I start with one chain and turn my work and work one single crochet into each of my four stitches. And for row 3 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. Now I'm going to work a neatening row around the sides and the bottom. So I start with one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch down the side into the corner stitch I work one single crochet one chain and one single crochet and then I work one single crochet into each stitch along the bottom. And then into the corner stitch I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And then I work one single crochet into each stitch up the side. and fasten off. And that's the washing powder drawer done. Now we'll do the filter cover next. It's worked the same as the washing powder drawer. We start with five chain
For row 1 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. Row 2 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our four stitches. For our neatening row we start with one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch down the side. Into the corner stitch we work one single crochet one chain and one single crochet and then work one single crochet into each stitch along the bottom then one single crochet one chain and one single crochet into the corner stitch and then work one single crochet into each stitch up the side. And fasten off. And that's the filter cover. For the control panel, using our black, we start with five chain. For row one, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our four stitches. And now we're going to work a neatening row the same as we did for the washing powder drawer. We start with one chain and we work one single crochet into each stitch down the side. Into the corner stitch we work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. and then work one single crochet into each stitch along the bottom. Into the corner stitch work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And then work one single crochet into each stitch up the side.
and fasten off. And that's the control panel. For this program dial, I'm using my grey and I start with a magic loop. And I work one chain and work five single crochet into my circle. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. So five single crochet into my circle. Pull the circle tight and work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And you've got a small circle. I'll just weave in my ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's my pieces. I've got the washing machine body, the door, the washing powder drawer, the filter cover, the control panel and the program dial. The first thing I do is attach the door right in the middle of the machine body. I stitch around this grey, the outside of the grey piece in the middle, just around there first and I'll be back. The next things I'll do is attach the rest of the door. I ease the white in and then I stitch around the grey and then I'll stitch a little handle onto the washing powder drawer and then I'll stitch it onto the machine with grey just around the edge. Next I'll add a little marking at the top of the filter cover for the handle and I'll attach it at the bottom at the opposite side to the washing powder drawer. I'll add a few little markings to the control panel and I'll stitch it just at the other side of the drawer. The last thing I do is attach the program dial halfway between the control panel and the washing powder drawer and then I'll just embroider a few little markings around it and then I'll be back to show you the finished washing machine. And there's the finished washing machine. If you've liked my video please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.